Winter event started in Red Dead Online and it's different from previous years because as you can see it's already snowing. And usually Rockstar were adding snow to Red Dead Online somewhere in the middle of December. But even more, some new content was already added to the game, again unlike previous years. I don't know, maybe it's some mistake because it looks weird, there is a snow but there are no Christmas decorations yet, at least for me, there is no Christmas tree at my camp and there are no Christmas decorations in my moonshiner bar so i guess the only person who still works on red dead online just pressed the wrong button because just like anybody else he was watching gta 6 trailer but i don't care i mean i like snow in red dead online and it's good that rocks are added it earlier i know that a lot of players have issues with snow in red dead online some performance issues and also it's harder to hunt animals but snow adds such a different atmosphere to this game and usually we had snow for like two or three weeks only and this time it will be for five weeks in the game until the beginning of January and yes snow will get stronger and stronger with each week and there will be some heavy blizzards in the end of this event anyway let's take a look at bonuses discounts and free items in this winter event first of all there is a discount on all repeaters and as always I suggest you to purchase Lancaster repeater because it's the best repeater in Red Dead Online also it makes sense to purchase Evans repeater repeater because among other bonuses you can get winter variant for Evans repeater during this event for free we're gonna talk about this later the next discount is on ammo buy as much as you can and the most importantly there is a discount on ammo pamphlets that you can purchase at fans they're pretty expensive but they allow you to carry twice more regular ammo for different types of weapons and this will be extremely useful if you will take part in call to arms we have some discounts on clothes thin items like shirts, skirts, chaps and pants. So you can purchase outfits for creeps and dogs with a discount. Not like outfits for dogs but just dogs. Unfortunately there are no outfits for dogs. At stables find a discount for Breton and Norfolk Roadster horses. Again if you're not gonna get stuck because this bug was still not fixed. But the most importantly you can purchase saddles with 30% discount and it's a good time to purchase yourself some good saddle like Nacogdoches or Upland. And since it's a month of a moonshiner roll, you can purchase the roll itself with a pretty good discount, 10 gold bars. So you can buy it for 15 gold bars instead of 25. Also, you can buy Moonshine Bar Expansion with 30% discount. And it's also a must-have for a Moonshiner role, especially if you have some friends. And there are also discounts on Novice, Promising or Established Moonshiner role items. So a lot of discounts for Moonshiner role. Now let's take a look at extra payouts and free items. First of all, there are double money and experience on featured PvP series. Triple money and experience experience on free roam missions, which sounds cool, but on practice it's not that impressive because payouts for free roam missions are super low, and even with triple payout it will be interesting mostly for beginners. Next bonus on the other hand is pretty good, but not for beginners at all. I'm talking about double money, gold and experience on call to arms. Matchmaking is still broken, so unless you have a group, most of the time you will be playing solo, and playing solo in call to arms will be pretty challenging even for higher levels, I'm not even speaking about beginners. Anyway, the main bonus is for a moonshiner roll, double money and experience on moonshiner sales, which is a lot of money actually. Especially since moonshiner roll is almost like a passive income in Red Dead Online, you only need to spend like 5 minutes per hour to make some good amount of money. Also there are triple money and experience on moonshiner story missions. Moonshiner story is pretty short, it's only 5 missions, but they are pretty fun so this bonus will be like a reason for some players to replay this story and obviously it will be a nice small bonus for players who bought moonshiner roll for the first time now other bonuses and free items play anytime this month to receive ships wool jacket as always it might take up to 72 hours for you to receive a reward moonshiners who will log in this month will receive two free mush refills also moonshiners who are rank 10 or who get 
gain three ranks anytime this month will receive the green Wakero Baroque Spurs. For destroying revenue agent blockades, you will get green Concho Pants. For completing any three roll challenges during any week, you will receive an offer for eight gold bars of Moonshiner Bar Decor upgrades. For taking part in Holiday Call to Arms with a persistent potty, you will receive a black porter jacket. And by the way, each week there will be additional bonus for reaching wave 8 in Call to Arms. First week, white salter shoes. Second week, red McBay jacket. Then red shuffer chaps. And last two weeks of the event, green and brown Irving coat. After 12th of December, you will be able to get winter variant for Evans repeater for free. It looks like this. And Krampus shotgun will be unlocked and you will be able to purchase it. Technically, it's a variant for a double barreled shotgun, which usually is only available during winter event. It looks good, but it's pretty expensive. Next, we have some free items for logging in during the Christmas week. And for logging during the last two weeks of the event, you will receive a free emote. As for free community outfit, this time, for the first time ever actually in Red Dead Online, we received not one outfit for free, but two outfits for free, so a lot of items you can find in a catalog that you can claim without paying anything. Just look for such sign, sale and price zero dollars. And one specific color will be free. By the way, important note, if you don't match level requirement to purchase some free item yet, don't don't worry, you still can do it, just pretend that you want to buy it with a gold and you will see a price of zero gold bars, then buy it. As for limited offer clothing, we have only few items like gator hat and winter shotgun coat. Not much this time comparing to previous monthly event. Now as for new content, there will be new winter pvp maps and new winter call to arms maps. First festive series will take place from December 12th to December 18th. 18th, you can find it in featured pvp series and then there will be second festive series with different modes and different winter maps like colter and hanging dog ranch it's really nice because pvp plays differently when there is a snow just like everything in red dead online actually but now let's talk about new call to arms maps as you can see we have 10 available call to arms maps at the moment seven from previous years and three new maps valentine auction yard Yard, the Manor and Kaliga Hall. I'm surprised that Rockstar decided to add them immediately, not sometime later, just like they did with Halloween Call to Arms maps, but I think it's a smart choice. It's definitely better for players to choose which map they want to play, especially since there are so many great maps in this Merry Call to Arms series, for example Coulter, Adler's Ranch and so on. By the way, they already have Christmas decorations, and yes, I'm pretty sure that later Christmas decorations will be added to open world as well. Like Christmas tree will be in our camp, and in our moonshine bar, singers will be singing Christmas carols and so on. Anyway, for me, snow and new call to arms is the best parts of a winter event in Red Dead Online and I am definitely will be playing new and old Merry Call to Arms maps a lot. But as I've already mentioned, unfortunately, call to arms is not really a content for beginners. And yes, if you're only starting in Red Dead Online, I suggest you to go and check this video that you can see on your screen now with biggest mistakes that beginners are still making. With that being said, let me know what do you think about winter in Red Dead Online and thank you for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.